This video is produced by Varun, part of Technical Marketing Engineering Team. Retention Lock is a licensed feature that provides immutable file locking and secure data retention for customers to meet both corporate governance and compliance. Retention Lock compliance is more strict than governance. In this demo, we are going to showcase how to configure Retention Lock governance and Retention Lock compliance. We will be using DD9410 in this demo. The same procedure can be utilized for DD9910 as well. First, navigate to Licenses under Administration where the license is already applied for the feature Retention Lock Governance and Retention Lock Compliance. Log in into the PuTTY session of the DD and run mTree list to check the list of mTrees. Also check the status of the existing statuses. Retention Lock Governance can be enabled for a mTree using the command mTree Retention Lock Enable Mode Governments mTree mTree Name. Here we are enabling retention lock governance for the mTree demo rig. Now we are going to enable and configure the retention lock compliance. Please note, to enable retention lock compliance, the system requires downtime. To enable and configure RLC, a security officer user must be created and enabled. A security officer user called sec user is already created in this DD. To enable security officer authorization, Log into the PuTTY session of the DD using security officer credentials and execute the command authorization policy set security officer enabled. Switch back to sysadmin PuTTY session and run system retention lock compliance configure. You will be asked to enter security officer credentials for confirmation. The system will reboot post confirmation. Both DD9910 and DD9410 systems require compliance mode to be enabled on iDRAC before retention lock compliance can be configured on the system. Log in to the PuTTY session after the system is up and running and check if any iDRAC users are already configured or not using the command user iDRAC create. Create the user, execute the command user iDRAC create, which requires security officer credentials. Next, the system will prompt you to enter the number of iDRAC operators and iDRAC read-only users that need to be created. Key the username and password for iDRAC operator and iDRAC read-only user. For the purpose of this demo, we are creating only one for each user type. After the iDRAC users are successfully created, Enable the retention lock compliance on the system using the command System Retention Lock Compliance Enable, which will again prompt for security user credentials. It is recommended to set the system date change frequency and date change limit while enabling the retention lock compliance to avoid any undesired changes to the system clock. Please note that these values cannot be configured once RLC is enabled. In this demo, we are setting the date change limit as 12 hours and the date change frequency as one day. Now the system is ready to run the retention lock compliance feature. Execute the command mtree retention lock enable mode compliance mtree slash data slash col1 slash demo rlc to enable rlc feature on the mtree demo rlc. This command will prompt security user credential the status of the mTree shows that demo RLC is retention lock compliance enabled. This concludes the demo. Thank you for watching.